if I had to strip everything back and keep just one AI tool, it would be perplexity. Full stop. It's the one I use every single day, multiple times a day to learn faster, boost my productivity, and even find new ways to improve my business. And so I'm going to give you the complete blueprint to using perplexity like a pro. We're going to go through the best features that mean you'll never need to use ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini ever again. It's one AI to rule them all. But before I show you all these advanced features that smoke all the other AI platforms, I want to show you this one secret little feature that's hidden on the homepage here that makes perplexity so powerful. And it's this button here, which allows you to select the AI model you want to use. So whereas ChatGPT, you can only use the OpenAI advanced models or Claude, you can only use Anthropics models, perplexity opens it up to all the top AI LLM models. So you can see here, you can use Perplexity's own Sonar Fast model. You can use Claude 4 Sonnet. You can use ChatGPT 4.1, Gemini 2.5 Pro, Grok 3. And you can even go down into some of the higher reasoning models as well for even more sort of deeper thinking, I guess, and deeper reasoning before committing to your projects, which is cool. Now, a step further than this as well, there's the problem of oh, which thing shall I use for which? Shall I use ChatGPT for writing or Claude? Shall I use this for coding or that one? Which is better for image generation? Which is blah, 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 blah. Well, Perplexity could select all this for you. So you can see this best button here is automatically selected. It selects the best model for each query. So if you're doing research, it might use Sonar. If you want to code something, it might switch over to Claude for you. That's pretty cool. And that means we don't need to be paying $20 for each of these tools. You can just pay $20 and just use perplexity. Now, having access to all these features is obviously a game changer. But this next section takes it up another level and gives you another step forward in the amount of research and data you can access. This is a brand new channel. And if you get anything from this video at all, do me a digital handshake, hit the subscribe button and comment with where you are on your journey below. And this is this sources button here. The sources button allows you, of course, to search across the entire web and you can switch them on and off. So we can choose where perplexity is taking its information from. Of course, web search is useful. We can also search academic papers. We can also search social discussions and opinions. And we can also even search SEC filings. And I'll give you an example of this. We could turn all of these off and say, hey, I just want to search social discussions. And then we could do a query. Let's even ask what is the best AI model right now. And we could get it to do a search and crawl basically Reddit. It's basically only gonna look at Reddit um, to find out this information and get the opinions of real people in forums rather than relying on other sources around the web. So you could do that for SEC filings if you're looking for financial data. And what's cool is it's used this social search to actually build a table based on other people's real feedback in forums, which is pretty cool. You can see the community consensus here. ChatGPT is best for general users and everyday work knowledge. Claude is best for coding and complex projects. Gemini, passionate supporters, especially for technical workflows. And Perplexity is the leader for research and up-to-date information gathering. But as we know, Perplexity has all of them built into it. So while there's no single best model, Maybe Perplexity is the best platform for accessing them all. Controlling your model and your sources is great, but this next bit is where Perplexity gets scary good and really you can get rid of your whole research team. And this is the deep research functionality. Now the other tools have this, but Perplexity is a purpose-built research tool. So it takes it to another level where you can ask it anything and you can even select your sources as well in this area. So we could again go to social discussion and opinion sources or search academic papers, web, whatever you want. And you can even mention a space, which is like a custom GPT equivalent, which we'll get to in a minute, but you can build those into your research flow. So we could do a deep research. For example, this is a, a research I've run on chat GPT deep research, and we're going to compare it to Perplexity Pro. I want to come up with a proven micro SaaS ideas and tools I can build. This requires finding people's pain points and problems which they are struggling with. Then we know from the start that the tool slash SaaS will solve a specific problem. It's pre-validated. Can you research Reddit for problems and pain points that could be solved with a micro SaaS or tool? I want to focus on the parenting niche. Now, of course, Remember, we can actually select and say, I don't want you to look any anywhere else. I want you to focus in on Reddit to find these problems by searching social areas. And you can run that in tandem with deep research. Now, a cool feature within any of these research and labs area, which we'll get onto next, is this get answer now. So you can actually speed up these queries. I'm not going to do this now. We're going to let it play out. 
but you can see perplexity is actually just crawling and reading through reddit to find these ideas and do this deep research so this research is finished and you can see it's gone through 90 sources 90 subreddits and threads to find out people's problems and look for solutions that we could build so you can see straight away we've got sleep training support tool you can see the several subreddits and threads that it's gone through to find out that people are having this problem and validating the ideas we can pick one out here like family calendar coordination pl platform you can see there's a couple of things that people are literally asking what apps do you guys use for keeping track of family calendar and that's people are looking for apps to do this on reddit so there's obviously not a clear winner or people are struggling to find a good problem a good solution to this deep research might make you smarter, find these ideas. But this next feature is where it really gets smarter and no other of the AI platforms have access to these type of features. And this is this labs button at the bottom here. So we can switch into labs mode and say we could put this idea into the next section and switch on labs mode and use its AI agents to start building out a business plan, even probably start coding the app. Can we start bringing it to life with a business plan, brand mood board and MVP features to get us going? And the AI agents on Perplexity are going to start creating this project. It's going to start doing even more deep research and go and start creating our business plan, our brand, and even potentially some MVP features that we could even take to Reddit and bounce off parents to see if they like what we're going to build. Okay, this is awesome. Check this out. It's even come up with a name straight off the bat, Family Flow. We've got a business plan, a brand mood board, MVP roadmap for a family calendar coordination platform. Now we can go through this real quickly, but you can see it's starting with our, literally the stuff we need for our business business plan, our market opportunity here, talking about the potential size of an opportunity here, the competitive gap, the feature benchmark reveals crowded good enough players, but only jam and our planned family flow hit all six parenting specific needs. Now I'll skip through this because you can see it's come up with the, all the feature sets and everything like that. And it's even gone and started building brand identity and mood board, picking out some colors, um, the technology stack, we need to build it, financial projections, everything here to get us sort of up and running from finding idea to getting a feel for the market, what we can do, the type of app we can build. If you were to ask it to do just one or the other things, it's going to go even deeper into building out your whatever you're looking to build out for a business or your research or take things to the next level. And actually, it even started to build the outline of an app for me for an SEO competitor tool. And it can build dashboards as well. So you can plug data into it and actually get it to build interactive dashboards based on these labs AI agents. Now, labs is cool, but this next feature is one of the real reasons that I kept switching away from Claude because it didn't have one simple feature, and that's images. Now, in Perplexity, you can go straight in and start creating images, whether that's via the labs button, you can have images integrated, or you can do it on its normal chat prompt as well. And you can see here, I was playing around with some yesterday for my YouTube uh, thumbnails, and you can see it's pretty cool. Actually, this is one I generated that it's kept the original background of my image and the room I was working in that day. And I did ask it to like port, make my, my face more portrait friendly and like professionally lit. It's actually done quite a nice job. It, it looks mainly like me. <laughs> uh, it kind of messed up my hat a bit, but it pulled out this cool graphic as well and built that into the image, which is super cool and something that Claude can't do. Obviously, ChatGPT can do this, but it's cool to have it all in one platform now. And speaking of all in one platform, if you're like, yeah, that's cool, but I need custom GPTs. I need projects. Well, Perplexity has their version of that too, and that's called Spaces. And you can see here straight away that I've got a couple lined up already. I've got Brainstorm Buddy, which allows you to expand and explore your ideas with creative AI. And you can add, just like you do for your custom GPTs or Prod Claude projects, you can add custom instructions here. So you can see I've built in the sort of project background and instructions that are how I want it to operate. And then you can go and add files and links as well to add URLs to sources. So you could go and put in YouTube links or local files as well. You can upload files to give it more context. But within spaces, you can again go and use whichever model you want. So you don't have to just be like, oh, I need to use Claude projects because I'm coding or I need to use custom GPT because of this, because you can switch between them based on what you want your space or your project to do, as well as where you want it to pull from. And even you can run 
times and tasks about when you want it to run and mention other spaces. So you can link these all together, which is pretty cool to create whatever you want to create, which is awesome. And the automation can go one step further as well with this next awesome feature, which if you go into your account area, you can obviously click personalization and you can start customizing and introducing yourself and your location and all that sort of stuff. But there's actually in this tasks area here, you can automate tasks. So your routines are supercharged, set up tasks to deliver the right content at the right time automatically. And you can see here, I've got one here to help me keep track of AI trends. I've got it to go and research what are the most important AI technology trends, product launches and innovations from the past week, include AI notable startups, big tech moves and new gadgets. And just before 11 o'clock every Monday, it's going to go and research this stuff. And you can even select the mode. You can just do like, just do a normal web search, or you can do a deep research and get it to do that. I can show you the actual feedback that it gave me earlier this week. Here is the research it did. It went and checked the major news and the major websites to give me a quick overview of everything that's going on in AI and new startup tech so that I can stay on top of these trends, whether it's AI use in the workplace has nearly doubled with 40% of all employees. That's a really good quote to introduce a new YouTube video or dig into a bit deeper. We've got new tools being launched and malicious AI variants. Worm GPT is something to watch out for about apparently an AI driven cyber attacks that are on the rise now. This is really cool to know instantly. There's also in this discover area, you can start reading and you can actually tailor your news in here. I've got alerts for certain for you areas of the type of things I wanna be reading and getting sort of collated for me around the web by these AI models or by other people curating this content with the help of perplexity. And there's one more thing that I haven't told you yet that makes perplexity awesome. And as a previous Claude user, or I still do use it a bit, we can actually start using Claude 4.0 Sonnet and we can use it with voice inputs. So the normal Claude interface doesn't actually have voice prompting, but we can use perplexity to actually prompt with our voice and give it information in that way.